Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, and welcome to a week two team of the week pack opening here on Madden 16 Ultimate Team. The two big elite players from this week's team of the week is your hero, Ben Roethlisberger, a 90 overall quarterback, and then you have the 24 hour Jamie Collins that is in packs. He's also a 90 overall. And as always, to get the Ben Roethlisberger, you have to add all these cards into the Week 2 Hero set. You have Amari Cooper, who is absolutely sick. You got Jacquez Smith, Tony Jefferson, and Johnny Manziel. Honestly, I would actually be very happy to pull either this Johnny Manziel and I would obviously be ecstatic to pull Amara Cooper. As a lot of you know, I am an Alabama fan. I know they lost Saturday to Ole Miss, but I would still be absolutely ecstatic to pull this Amara Cooper. Pretty interested to see how much he is going for right now. His lowest buy now is currently at 105k. And here's a tip for you guys. Do not screw up like I did last week and buy one of these players the first day because they're going to dramatically drop in price. I bought Marcus Mariota for 90k that night he was released, and I, I don't even want to know what he's going for now. Probably 30k, less than 30k probably. So Mario Cooper's probably going to drop down to about 40k within the next couple days. And I'm interested to see what Johnny Manziel is going for as well. Looks like he's, I expect him to go for a pretty good amount. Going for 47k would be very happy to pick him up. Looking at his stats really quick, 87 speed, 91 throw accuracy short, 93 throw power, 86 throw accuracy deep with 97 throw on the run. So that actually looks like a pretty good card. I would definitely be excited if I could pack him. And as always, the upgrade set for this week is if you complete this set, you get one of the players needed for the week two hero set. So that's pretty cool. And checking out the players for this week two upgrade set. You got Allen Robinson, who had a great game for the Jaguars, Marcus Peters, Jaron Elliott, and then you have Matt Jones, the running back for the Redskins. At the time this is being recorded, there are only three Ben Roethlisberger's on the market, so that's kind of crazy. And his cheapest price is 220,000 coins, and he's about to expire. But checking out his stats really quick, pretty sick cover on the card. 75 speed, 96 throw power, and 85 throw deep, 94 throw on the run, and 91 throw accuracy mid. His play rec is a lot higher than Johnny Manziel's, but I'm not sure if it's worth that big of a price difference. Because, I mean, Johnny Manziel, although he's a little bit shorter, he is, well, actually a lot shorter, he is faster, and his accuracy and throw power, like, does not look that much different. I, I don't understand why it's not a little bit higher than Johnny Manziel. So, I'm not sure if I would recommend picking this card up and not just going for that Johnny Manziel if you want a fast quarterback. And now for the cheapest Jamie Collins on the market. Cheapest one right now is 110k. Gonna check out his stats really quick. 88 speed, which I really think is great for a running back. 91 hit power, 94 tackling, 95 pursuit, 91 acceleration, and 82 block shedding. So this card, in my opinion, should cost more than the Ben Roethlisberger because he is very, very sick, and if I could pull him, I would be very, very happy. So what we are going to do is open up my three free packs of the week and maybe two or three packs with coins, and I might, depending on what we get in those packs, open up one of the veteran packs that are out. I'm not going to go way too insane on packs, but I would be glad to pick up at least one of the Team of the Week cards. I've yet to ever pull an elite team of the week player, so this would be my first and hopefully sometime this year, if not this week, I can actually pull a team of the week elite player, and I've never ever on Madden pulled a 24 hour card, so I might have a chance at doing that, which is probably very unlikely, so in this first pack, we are going to get... He doesn't even deserve to be called out, does not even deserve to be recognized by me, but let's go into the second pack, Bud Dupree guys. I have a video coming within the next couple days called Silver Studs. He actually is featured in that video. This guy, if you're looking for a silver linebacker, a cheap linebacker, might actually, it's probably better than a lot of the gold linebackers out there. This guy is absolutely insane. Looking at his stats, guys, 88 hit power with 88 speed, 91 acceleration, man. Very good stats for a 69 overall. So, there's a little tidbit for you. And here we get Blake Bortles, 74 overall quarterback, and I sell him on, but... Uh, look at his stats really quick. I know he won't be the only gold player out of this pack. Hopefully we can just get somebody good. Somebody good. An elite player would be nice. Brandon Myers. Wow. So these first two packs suck pretty bad. So let's jump into our third and final free pack of the week. And I also, I've never pulled an elite player out of any of the free packs I've gotten last year and this year. So that would be a first as well. Here's my last chance. Hmm. Huh. Major Wright, who goes for 400 coins. You know what? You know what, Major Wright? Get out. That Those free packs were absolute crap, man. 
absolute freaking crap. So hopefully we can luck up and get something half decent out of these two. I'm gonna open up two pro packs with coins. Two pro packs, and I'm not expecting much. Not expecting much at all. Let's see what we're gonna get this time. Just an elite, some elite. I'll take a John Coon. And moving along right here, it's gonna be the last player out of the pack, and we. That's sick. That's abs That's what I wanted. That, I mean, have I got a player over 75 yet? Really? I think I got a 76. That's my highest overall player. So the packs are definitely not popping right now at all. At all, man. And this is just fantastic. The best pack opening I've ever seen in my life. The absolute best pack opening I've ever seen in my life. Two and only two bedroom packs, guys. Only two. Because the pack look, man, is not it's not worth giving EA money. Maybe they're leading me up to a good pool here, but oh my god. I think out of five pro packs, I have not made back the 15k that I spent on those two packs with coins. So hopefully we can at least get 15k worth of players out of these two bedroom packs. We have four chances at a team of the week player. So hopefully we can get something something half decent. Just get get out of my life, man. Tight ends, the low overall tight ends don't go for nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not even worth me just acknowledging them. Man, why are these packs so bad? Is seriously the highest rated player I've gotten out of these packs? Anybody over 75? Anybody over 75, man. Like, really? Really, man. Oh, so here we go. Last pack of the pack opening, guys. I would love to get a player over 76. Honestly, we'd just love to. Got two chances for that to be the case. And we get, I, I'm just, I'm done. I'm honestly just speechless. John Brown, the best player, the best player I've gotten out of this pack opening is John freaking Brown. So hopefully you guys had better luck than I did because that, I honestly don't think I made 15K out of, back out of any of those packs that that is awful probably the worst pack opening in the history of madden but hopefully you guys did have better luck than i did because i would never wish that upon any of my subscribers if you did enjoy though be sure to drop a like if you want to see pack openings like this every time a new team of the week is released be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i will catch you guys next time have a great rest of your day peace